Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody is doing amazing. This is your coach, Carla Nicole. So, going to share something with you today. Um, first off, are you awake? Are you awake this morning? Well, if you're not, I'm here to awaken you. How about that? Ready to get up? And um, I want to share with you um, the smile mantra. Remember, it's smile, which stands for study, meditate, inspire, laugh, and elevate every day. Now, on my cup here, it says happy doesn't cost anything. Happy doesn't cost anything. Pretty powerful, huh? Everything I live by are words, and words are very, very important for me. I'm big about uh, being moved by words. So I wanted to share something with you. Um, so again, the smile mantra stands for study, meditate, inspire, laugh, and elevate every day. So this is going to be very quick, okay? So you got to keep up with me. Today we're going to talk about inspire, the I in smile. And the reason why it's so important that we truly inspire someone else is because this journey in our life right here that we're in is not just about us. See, when we pass on and we leave here, what we did and who we impacted is going to still live on. So with that, so with that said, when you have certain people that you inspire, encourage, um, counsel, mentor, um, these people actually are people that will carry on from your counsel or your inspiration and do things that you never could imagine. So it's very important in the smile mantra that I encourage you to inspire someone else. Now, here's the thing. We get caught up in our mishaps, our mistakes, our hurts, our frustrations. But what we don't realize is that those very things that hurt us, disappoint us, make us upset, actually help us to evolve and change, help us to evolve and change beliefs and change how we do things. So actually, you should welcome the crushing of beliefs, the crushing of hurts, the crushing of pain, because it helps us to grow people. It helps us to grow. We need to be growing so that we can be better to inspire someone else. Our life is not just our own, honey. It's not. <laughs> I know we think that. We think it's about me and it's about my children and my lineage. And, and yes, that's important. But that's not all. Also, who we come in contact with strangers as well we may truly impact their lives and change and shift them into something they never could imagine just by our quick hello and conversation so don't forget the i and smile again the smile mantra stands for study meditate inspire laugh and elevate every day if you're not doing these things, this is what causes us to be so sad and so, you know, caught up in our destruction or something that's gone wrong in our emergencies in our life, right? But you have to realize that even when we have emergencies or, or, or pain or suffering or whatever, those are going to happen. So let's not mis mistake that. Those days are going to come, period, whether we want them to or not. Even your coach has moments of sadness, of depression, of, of anger, of all kinds of stuff. So I'm not exempt, okay? So your coach right here goes through it as well. Um, I've gone through some, even recently, some trials, let me tell you. Trials, okay? 
But I also realize that if I'm not still inspiring someone else, if I'm not getting up here and smiling with you and telling you what I learned, then I'm not doing my experiences and my life any justice. I'm not. I'm just living in this day and consumed with my own experiences. It's vitally important. Thank you, Nate. It's vitally important that we understand that even in our own madness, <laughs> frustrations, which we're going to have, we have to still sit back and say, okay, who can I inspire today? Who can I help? Who can I help change the way they see things? Do you realize that when you're in your own madness, in your own experience of change or your own hurt or frustration, when you step out of that hurt and you start to say to someone else, hey, good morning, MD. Hey, what do you think about what's going on with you? Oh, I'm so this and that. And then the next thing you know, well, have you considered trying this or have you considered trying that? And then all of a sudden a light bulb goes off in their mind and they're like, oh, I never thought of that. Thank you. Like you helped me. I was going through this turmoil in my mind and I didn't know what to do. I get it. I get it. Trust me. I know. I've had my own, truly had my own stuff where I was so caught up in the vortex that I'm sucked into this drama and I'm sucked into the headache. And I'm like, oh, I can't do this. I cannot do this. I'm so frustrated. But then I see somebody that's more frustrated than me. Oh, and then you just see the heaviness on their spirit. And you're thinking, golly, I've been through something like this before. Maybe I can give them a lending hand. And maybe I can give them something to think about that maybe they're not thinking about. And can kind of elevate some of that hurt. And guess what? All of a sudden, you're no, no longer consumed with your own hurt and frustration. You're now helping someone else. And then when you're helping someone else, guess what happens to you? You're starting to feel more joy again. Because now you're like, man, I'm starting to see my storm I went through actually has a purpose. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Oh, okay, okay. Now I see. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget the smile mantra, man. I want y'all to memorize this. I want you to get up every morning and be like, oh, did I smile today? Did I smile today? I don't know. Did I? Did I study anything? Did I meditate today? Did I? Oh, my God. Did I? Did I inspire somebody? Who did I inspire? Okay, if I didn't inspire somebody, I need to get busy. I need to check in on some people. Because see, here's the thing. It doesn't always have to be strangers. It can be friends that you haven't talked to for years. It could be family members you haven't checked in on and be like, oh, listen, we haven't, we haven't sat down and talked in a long time. How are you? Everybody's going to say fine at first, but keep on talking. Then you're going to find out, oh, really? What else is going on with you? Well, I have this going on and this going on and this going on. Because of course they, at first we're, we're programmed, okay? We're programmed to say we're fine. It's just what it is. How are you today? Oh, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm great. I'm fine. And and half the time we're broken. We're sad. We're frustrated. We're pissed off about something. But we will stand in our in our complete and total selves and say, Oh, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. You're not. You're going through something and you don't know how to get out of it. And so um, this is why so many people are surprised by people's suicides or surprised by somebody's you know their depression or surprised that you know i haven't heard from such and such what's going on with them oh you didn't know they were going through this and that you're like oh my god sometimes we got to check in and just peek in on them and say hey how are you today no i mean i know you're going to tell me fine because we all say that but no really how are you really and then when you hear their answer, you'll be surprised that the very storm you went through, the very challenges you had to deal with, the very problems you had to resolve, is the very thing that this person needs to pull themselves up out of their depression, out of their state of mind. Because, you know, it is a state of mind, okay? So our state of mind can really impact our daily routine. If our state of mind is really sad, 
it's hard to just get up and do it is it's hard um if our state of mind is just i don't know bored because we don't feel we have a purpose mm, we don't have a joy we don't feel like we can change somebody's hurts and pains guess what we won't really know how to fix what we've hurt and then also the reason why inspiration is also good for you is because it helps you to realize that your life your very life that you have has a reason to be here <laughs> hey Ephraim hey Hassan I'm good I'm good today but I'm also here to help you guys get inspired to give somebody some inspiration that they need you you my love what you've been through can help somebody else you know a lot of times we will see homeless people and we'll be like oh i don't have any money i can't help you i'm sorry i don't have any money there's a really close friend of mine and he says you know sometimes i just give them a conversation I don't even bring in the fact that I don't have the money. I just ask them, what's going on with you, per se? Why are you here? Why are you here? And then what he does is he takes the knowledge from which they give him and he inspires them to try something different. Because if you continue to be on this corner, <laughs> if you continue to be on this corner, you're going to continue to be on this corner from now on. If you don't change something. So what he does is he talks to the people that are homeless. A lot of us just want to walk by. I don't even want to. Oh my God, they're over there. I don't want to even. I don't want to give them money. I don't have any money. I don't want them to ask me anything. We walk faster. We try to hurry up. Okay. But the reality is that person is in a state of despair. They're hurting. For you to have to go out and ask and beg for something. They're hurting. Those people that we look past and don't want to acknowledge. And, oh my God, let me hurry up. I have what I need. Why don't they just get a job? You know, it's not always that easy. You don't know their story. You don't. So we have to be grateful that sometimes we don't have to even talk about the money. I know you're out here asking for money, but let me get something from you that maybe I can help you to not only help you to get your own money, but maybe I can help you change your life. Just in a, a, a small exchange. It doesn't require for me to be out there coaching all night. I, I probably wouldn't. But I can get some data on them. What can I help you with? What you at? Why are you here? And do you want to continue to be here? Because that's the question. It comes down to beliefs and state of mind. If we really want to be in something, we will stay in it. No matter what somebody tells us or what advice we get, we're going to stay there. It's just what it is. But when somebody really truly wants out, they will take what I give them, be it that it's not money, but it's my advice or my mentorship or my coaching. If I tell you something and you really want to change it, guess what your results are going to be? It's limitless. It's limitless. I have a client right now. Let me tell you something about her. I've been coaching her now for about four months. She's constantly giving me different, I don't know, I guess we could call them milestones. Like, guess what? I got this going on. Guess what? I got this going on. Guess what? I got this going on. I got this. Oh, my God. And I told her, I give the same tools to all my clients, but all my clients don't get that result you get. <laughs> they don't because you believe in you and you believe in what I'm giving you. And then you apply what I teach you. So because of that, your life is changing for the better. You're getting a new place. You're getting a new job. You're getting this. Oh, my goodness. My babies are good. But I gave, I spoke it to her. I said, you're the matriarch of the family. So you got to level up, baby girl. You're the matriarch. You can make a change. Just you. Man, listen, she's constantly sending me stuff. She inboxed me yesterday and said, I'm laughing. I said, let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. You take what I give you and you, you do the work. I, again, 
It's all about inspiration. If I come on here and I change your life, guess what? I don't get paid for it. It's not about me getting paid for it. Those that pay me are getting results. But if I just give you something and you take my nuggets and you change your, your life and you apply what I give you, guess what? I did my job. And that's my purpose is to inspire. But that's also about the smile mantra. Study, meditate, inspire, laugh, and elevate every single day. Make sure you share this video. Somebody needs to hear this. Because real talk, a lot of people are broken. But they could change the brokenness if they would just heed that some of the things they're doing is because of their mindset, because of their state of mind, because they're not inspired. They don't know what to do. They don't see the out. They don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And sometimes, my love, you can be the very one that can change that. I'm just saying. You guys have a wonderful Saturday. Okay? If you need me, I don't care what it is. If you need me as your coach, you inbox me. I'm just an inbox away. I'm telling you now. That's what I do. I help to inspire. And I'm damn it going to die doing it. <laughs> Love you guys. You stay out of trouble too. It's your coach, Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best catch.